Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Sadly, in today's society, cheating has become very normal. And rather than being something that is taboo or looked down upon, it is now even celebrated in many circles of our culture. And I feel like we see stories every single day about different celebrities, you know, one couple or another cheating on their spouses or some headline saying that infidelity is actually super empowering for women. However, it gives me hope that in the comment sections of all of these posts and these stories, people still aren't thrilled. Normal people still believe that cheating is wrong. Thank God we have not fallen so far. And the allegations surrounding Tom Brady's divorce are no different. People are not thrilled. Before we dive into this story, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or one of our live streams. All right, so the NFL star and the bombshell supermodel Giselle Bündchen split up after 13 years of marriage in October of 2022. And we have a whole episode about that divorce. I believe that before they got divorced, we also did an episode about the rumors that Giselle is a witch and that she was doing spells over Tom Brady before his game. It sounds weird saying it now, but that was a big thing online. So we can link both of those below if you want some more context. But TLDR, Tom kept saying that he was going to retire, but then he didn't. And then obviously he did retire and then went back to the NFL like a month later. So many people think that Giselle just said, you know what, I've had it, I'm done. Obviously football is your main priority, not me, not our family. And you might say, well, Brett, he was providing for them. Obviously the NFL pays a lot of money. Why would he give that up? That is true, but Giselle is one of the most famous supermodels in the entire world, and her net worth and her paychecks surpass even Tom Brady. So I don't think she was really concerned about the paycheck that he was getting from throwing a football across the field. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? Now, after the divorce, they both made those, you know, very cryptic celebrity style posts on their social media, but Giselle ended up breaking her silence in 2023 with a Vanity Fair interview. And she said, it's like a death and a rebirth, explaining that she has been mourning the death of her dream. And she talked about how she always believed in fairy tales, but life is not a fairy tale. You know, her marriage had to end, they grew apart. And in the interview, she also pushed back on the rumors that they split up because of the NFL, because he didn't retire, saying, listen, I've always cheered for him and I would continue forever. If there's one person I want to be the happiest in the world, it's him, believe me. I want him to achieve and to conquer. I want all of his dreams to come true. That is what I want, really, from the bottom of my heart. However, immediately after this quote in the interview, she then said that him continuing to play in the NFL and not spending time at home was a piece of the puzzle that caused their divorce. And that as they grew, they grew apart with different priorities. Tom's was football, hers was not. Like, Giselle, you can support him all you want, but it seems like this really was a big issue. Now, Tom also posted and spoke out amidst the divorce, but what stood out to fans was a particular thing that he put on his Instagram story where he posted a poem by Muhammad Ali. A man is his heart, the post was titled. Quote, the personality of a person, the ways of a person, his thoughts, his deeds, his actions are all based around his heart. For what is a man? A man is his heart. A lying, cheating heart means a lying, cheating man. Dun, dun, dun. Now, obviously, people immediately wanted to know what or who Tom Brady was referring to in this post, and it looks like it might have been about Giselle's jujitsu instructor. Here's a photo of them together. And at the time, at the time that they had split, there were rumors that she had cheated on Tom with this man and that that might have contributed to their divorce. But their PR people in the press quickly shut that down, and even Giselle came out and said that he's our teacher, and most importantly, he's a person that I admire and that I trust. It is so good to have that kind of energy and to have my kids be around that type of energy. And then she said, Obviously, because I'm getting a divorce, people are going to try to attach me to different people. We're just friends. I know his brothers. We're all just friends. Okay. Just friends, my ass. Because, guys, over a year later, Giselle has now gone public with this man. It literally happened two days ago, who she has apparently been dating since June of 2023 just like six months after their divorce was finalized. And even better, they had apparently been photographed on trips together in November of 2022 and January of 2023. But again, sources shut it down immediately saying, no, 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 they're just friends. He has been her and her family's jujitsu coach and personal trainer for years. It's totally normal. Okay, I know that celebrities are very weird. We get that. But who brings their jujitsu coach on vacation to Costa Rica? Nobody does that. Red flags everywhere. It seems like maybe she was focusing on nourishing that relationship a lot more than she was nourishing the relationship with her own husband. Like, that is not normal. What should be normal is nourishing your dogs with Rough Greens, which is what I do every single morning. Rough Greens knows that dog food is dead food, and your pet's health is just as important as your health, which is why you should get Rough Greens. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants 
that your dog needs. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy, expensive, fresh, raw new dog food. You could just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day and you'll be leagues ahead from where you were. It is easy, it is affordable, it's a great way to make sure your dogs are getting what they need. Rough Greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. We are we eat, and that obviously goes for dogs too. When you feel good because you've remembered to take your supplements in the morning, just think how great your dogs are gonna feel. The team at Rough Greens is so confident that their product is going to improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers that free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. That free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. I think I said this last week as well. I've been working with Rough Greens for over a year now. If you haven't tried it yet, what are you waiting for? Go to roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that is roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. Your dogs will be happy, healthy, and thriving, unlike Giselle and Tom's marriage. Anyway, back to the more current news. They are public. That just happened a few days ago. Page Six dropped an article yesterday talking about this, and they said that Tom Brady has accepted Giselle Bündchen's romance with jiu-jitsu instructor began years ago and mayhem ensued online. I mean, this has like 53 million views and impressions at this point. None of it was positive. Somebody said, you can be one of the most attractive and sought after men on the planet and your wife will still cheat on you with a man in sandals. Not saying dating isn't worth it, but spend time loving yourself and you don't need a woman to do it for you. The comment section, guys, was abysmal. Like, I think the only people having a good time in this comment section were the red pill bros because they think this kind of story proves their point. Somebody else said, not even the goat Tom Brady is safe from his wife cheating, LMAO, lesson in there. Somebody else said, no wonder he chose football over her. Somebody else said, damn, even Tom Brady isn't enough to keep her loyal. See you in the gym, Tom. But other people, interestingly, had a different take. And you guys might not agree with this, but I wanted to highlight it because I saw it in here. Somebody said, he chose career over a family. Somebody else said he chose football over her, lol, what did he expect to happen? And I saw a comment yesterday and I should have screenshotted it because now I can't find it, but somebody said, obviously this sucks, she is at fault if she did cheat because she was the one cheating, but he was away for years, for longer than he needed to be or should have been. They have plenty of money. He chose to prioritize that over his family. And I think that speaks volumes or something like that. And I think that is an incredibly important point. Like you cannot expect to be the man of your house, to be the head of the household, if you are not even there, if you don't know what's going on, if you don't know what's happening with your wife, if you don't know that she is completely disconnected. Because when you get married, yes, you are making a commitment. It is a sacred covenant if you are religious, but I don't believe that you can just expect that to get you through. Like you can't just expect your vows to carry you through for 60 years. You have to choose each other daily and prioritize that relationship. And I don't know if Tom was doing that. I don't know if Giselle was doing that considering that she was rolling around on a mat on vacation with her jujitsu instructor. And this kind of feels like a chicken and the egg situation because I don't know which came first, like what caused what. One of them could have disconnected first, changed priorities, who knows. There are also rumors that Tom cheated on Giselle years ago and that they together cheated when he was still with his ex-girlfriend who he has a child with. Just like mayhem, guys, mayhem. But the main point here is that our culture seems to have forgotten what commitment in a relationship is and what commitment entails. The types of sacrifices that you have to make on a daily basis for that commitment to work. And that mixed with a very weird, very twisted interest in infidelity as some sort of positive empowering act has completely screwed us over. Like no wonder we are seeing so much of that. No wonder we are seeing so many divorces. Now for the sake of their kids, obviously I hope that Tom and Giselle are amicable. I hope that they are working through this. I hope they both get along with each other's new significant others because this does not seem like the cleanest most black and white break. This is a, a messy situation. Well, guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.